Hello, and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. I guess this is going to be the last entry for 2018, as it's New Year's Eve 2018, and tomorrow will be 2019. We've ended the new year kind of a bit lost for inspiration. I wouldn't say lost, it's just maybe in this crimbo limbo, as a friend of mine named it, or maybe just like a tree, the sap draws in, or just maybe we're not being too adventurous or inquisitive with the way we approach things, even though we've pretty much done what we usually do. Maybe that's the problem, doing what you usually do. If you want to find inspiration, maybe I should. Maybe, maybe I should stop saying maybe. Maybe that would be a good idea, maybe. So perhaps that's the moral here, is to sit and do, rather to sit and wait. Sit. Anyway, back to the poetry. <laughs> you thought you got away with it, thought I got distracted. This poem is called The Upstart Crow. The Upstart Crow was one of the terms used for Shakespeare by his contemporaries, allegedly, as much of that story as you can fathom out. Uh, however, this is also literally about crows. Because <laughs> I like crows. The Upstart Crow. Crows are not stupid birds. They make tools, showing a keen intelligence and through this, they have a society, a hierarchy within their murder. I have watched them often, bobbing as they walk, little black scholar's cap, an order or pattern to their hopping dance. I have listened to them chatter, snapping cause of irritation as one breaks the ritual of generations. Then, as judgment is passed by the murderous jury, they turn as one to punish the individual. Not today, though. Not this COVID. As if a great event had been orchestrated and not at the conductor's command. One lone maverick takes the blackbird's stand and begins to sing. As those unfamiliar notes carry out, so the gathering begins to move. Circles within spirals around the ashen one. A movement without purpose. A last and final chance to be apart from the flock. Until I coughed and it all stopped. Returning rhyme back into reason. <laughs>